Hello everyone, hereby I would like to share some life hacks in ophthalmology. During this COVID-19 era, do you feel you are taking too much time doing multiple hand rubs in between slit lamp examination? Do you feel you are necessary rubbing the whole palm and back of hands all the time during hand rub? Doing hand rub can be tedious during slit lamp routine examination, especially when you need to meddle with so many knobs on the slit lamp. Routine slit lamp examination could involve at least five moments of finger patient contact. It's challenging to rub after touching the patient every time. This is alcohol, hand rub soaked finger damper pad. Just dip the soiled fingers into the damper pad after contact with the patient. It helps to prevent soiling of the slit lamp parts. It's just that simple. Is your patient moving eyes during slit lamp examination? How about getting a customized target on slit lamp itself? You can paste the distinctive target on each side of the giant slit lamp shield that you have installed during this COVID-19 era. Here's some tips. The target should be bright colored, big enough for dilated eyes and low vision patients. Could not find enough baby speculums and squirrel depressor during ROP examination? Try DIY baby speculum and squirrel depressor. Here's what you need for the DIY. Plier. Paperclip. If no plier is available, use conjunctiva forceps instead. Most challenging part of the process is probably forming the, the speculum blade portion. You can use the end of the forcep or plier for the job. Bend the tip of the clip away to prevent injury to the skin of the baby. Now let me show you how to DIY a squirrel depressor. Remember to make a smaller arch at the tip. Here's some demonstration of ROP exam using DIY baby speculum and squirrel depressor. Not enough calipers during intravitreal injection? Try caliper substitute. Do you know that? The diameter of the tip of our medically used syringes is universal. The outer diameter to outer diameter is about 4 mm, whereby the outer diameter to inner diameter is about 3 mm. Oh no, did I just drape the wrong side? Do I need a new drape? Fear not, there's a way to solve this. First, cut the pouch off using the dressing scissors. Then use the tegaderm to stick it on the correct side. If your drape is running low, you can DIY a pouch drape. You just need a sterile whole towel, sterile urine bag, and tegaderm. First, cut the urine bag. Then stick it to the whole towel and skin. That's all for now. Thank you.